Did you know that the typical conversion rate for an e-commerce website is 2.86%? Which means if 100 people visit your website today, only 3 people end up buying. Which is great, but what about the 97 people that left without purchasing a product? Is there a way where you can retarget them? I discovered web push notification when I used my phone in order to access and search for products on the IKEA website in the UAE. Without me providing them my email, without me providing them my phone number, they started sending me push notifications on my phone, which I thought was brilliant. In today's video, we're going to be talking about web push notifications and how they can help you promote your products to your website visitors. Today's video is specifically for anyone that is selling on their own website, such as Shopify, for example, and doesn't function. Um, this video is basically not for you if you are only an Amazon seller. However, over 1 million people currently use Shopify, only Shopify, in order to sell their products online. So if you are an Amazon seller, this could be your very next step. Let's get started. Welcome to Power Your E-Commerce Business, the go-to series for busy entrepreneurs like you. Product research, sales, marketing, branding, shipping and logistics. We share knowledge and information every week from top experts serving the MENA region to help you power your e-commerce business. So Sashi, as you know, a lot of people focus uh, on sales. How can I improve my sales? Of course, that's why we're in the business of e-commerce. However, there's a, a huge missed opportunity. People that visited the, visit the website and end up not purchasing, or worse yet, people who add the product to cart and end up not buying it. So today, we're going to be talking about what you can do in order to basically convert more customers that end up visiting your page. And we're going to be talking about Push Owl, and you're going to give us all of the information. So first and foremost, welcome, and thank you so much for coming on the channel. Yeah, thanks for having me, uh, Crystal. Thank you. Sashi, before we get started and we give a lot of tips because we've prepared a lot of interesting uh, information, Push Owl is trusted by over 25,000 different businesses online. I'm not, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm uh, amazed by the fact that it's such a simple uh, solution, yet so much overlooked. So we're going to be talking about that, but we're going to be talking about why you guys created what you did and the, the idea behind Push Owl. So before we dive into it, can you just give us a quick um, introduction? Yeah, for sure. So um, hi, everyone. I'm uh, Sachi. I handle partnerships at Push Owl. And uh, we basically launched Push Owl in 2015 when Web Push Notifications was a new channel. And I think it still is. Uh, a lot of people think about, hey, what really is web push notification, how it helps us, um, you know, how it fits into my marketing with email. And I'm already doing email, SMS and social media and WhatsApp. Why do I need another channel now with web push notification? Right. So, um, you know, through this whole um, seminar, we're going to go through why web push notifications is critical and like what problem really is it solving on focusing on you know, visitors who are coming to your website and what are the different things that you can do uh, when you don't really have their information, right? Um, and you've already uh, put in so much cost to get these visitors to your website. You don't want to have like, or put more money into now, um, you know, uh, retaining these visitors who've come to your website. I, I told you, it's a very simple, it's a very simple solution. <laughs> Yet, um, it's something that's very much overlooked because there's so many things to think about when you're an yeah. e-commerce seller. Let's jump, jump straight into it. So I'm going to uh, take yes. you guys through what web push notification is, one. And then what are the different things that you can be doing with web push notification? We're not going to go a lot into details, uh, but I'll, I'll brush up on uh, the features and also a little bit about, you know, when you have so many things to do, what are the things that you can just basically do at like an, put in one hour a month into setting it up and just leave it, you know, and it's not like something that you need to keep putting time into. 
so let's start with what web push notifications are. Uh, web push notifications are similar to mobile push notification in the sense that they're short, crisp messages that appear on the device screens. Uh, the difference between web push notification and mobile push notification is that you don't need to have an app uh, to send these communications to a customer. Right. When they come to your store, they see this pop up saying, hey, do you want to allow notifications? And once they click on allow, they become your subscribers. So they don't need to give you their names, their email IDs, their phone numbers for you to start targeting them through web push notification. And like correctly, we spoke about uh, in abandoned cart recovery, uh, you have a lot of people who come to your website and put a bunch of things in the cart, but never end up checking out. Right and uh, you don't have their information so you how are you supposed to reach them on whatsapp email sms or other channels right now you have social media for that but with the rising ad costs and privacy concerns and you know a, a lot going on in that space you want to have something as like an alternative to reach out to these customers so web push notification makes the most sense uh, there um one thing to note is that uh, web push notification works on all devices like your Mac, Windows, laptops, Android phones. It's still not supported on iOS devices, but we're hoping that in this year that is going to change with the iOS updates that Apple has come out with this time. So, Sachi, just to make it very clear, when we're talking about web, uh, web push notifications, you're actually getting a notification out to uh, to a visitor without them giving you any of their information like they have exactly. not provided you their phone number their email exactly. nothing so that's how exactly. mind-blowing it is for me exactly exactly three ways to be part of the amazon sellers society you can first of all join our inner circle to learn exactly how amazon works and to follow our step-by-step -step courses if you want to be a uh, part of our done for you service where our expert team sets up your very own store on Amazon and also provides you with the best products in order to sell, then you can also join the done for you service program right here on the website. And last but not least for sure, if you are currently selling on Amazon and you need a tool that can help you increase your sales while decreasing your PPC ad spend, then you need to join Sellers Society. Sellers Society also works on Shopify. Let's continue. So uh, let's look at like from your from the merchant related standpoint and from the customer related standpoint on why a web push notification is crucial. So it's instant communication. It takes two minutes to set up a campaign, uh, you know, unlike an email, uh, which is like, you know, you have to go through a newsletter, you have to design things, you have to put a bunch of things here. You can just basically copy like two texts. Hey, sale is going on right now, buy it. And that's it like that. It's that quick. Yeah. Um, we've already spoken about how it turns uh, traffic into subscribers and how it helps in reducing abandoned carts. But another thing to notice is that it's an unregulated marketing channel. That means you don't have to avoid any spam filters, such as in, you know, your emails. Uh, you have to like look at what your text line is, what your title is, you know, that it doesn't uh, go into your spam box. Your email is not marked as spam or whatever it might be. With web push notification, you don't have to really care about any of those things. Uh, for customers, uh, of course, they don't have to give you their personal information. And this is like a win-win for everybody, right? I know that I subscribe to a lot of things. And even when I'm clicking on unsubscribe on emails, I still keep getting uh, emails from the company. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so this way, you know, uh, sometimes the two kinds of customers, right? One are the loyal ones who want to like know things about your brand instantly on their device screens. And the other ones are newer customers who might want to know about what your brand is all about and stuff like that, but still are not like one still don't want to give you their personal information. Yeah. Uh, another stat to notice is that 90% of the shoppers who opt into web push are anonymous. That means that they're not subscribed to any other channel of marketing. So if you're thinking that, hey, I already have email and SMS and WhatsApp, but you really don't because these are the ones who've actually not subscribed to any of these channels. Um, interesting. That's very interesting. Crisp. Yeah. Plus, it's crisp and easy to consume, right? They're like these small texts that come up. It's like a text from a friend. So you're like receiving a text from a friend uh, or a brand, you know? Mm -hmm. 
So these are like some of the reasons why you should be looking at web push notification as another add on channel to your already uh, all the existing marketing channels. Um, now let's look at what are the three things I'm just going to brush over three yeah. main things that you can do with web push notification. Um, one is campaigns. Uh, of course, because uh, these are the campaigns that you can send when there are events, festivals, you have a sale going on, you have offers, you have a new collection, new product launch, anything, right? Anything that you want your customers to know, you have to like just put in a, a brief text and sort of send it out. Uh, like, you know, you can see here, we've seen that an, uh, the web push notifications have an average of 3.68% CTR compared to emails which stands at around 2.91%. Um, and plus these are like coming right at the screen, right? So even if people are not clicking on it, it's more of a brand recall that, hey, um, you know, Disney uh, texted me or Forever 21 has a sale going on or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, then let's look at like, what are the different kinds of campaigns? So these like on the screen are the, the different kinds of campaigns that actual brands have sent out uh, during, uh, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you have, you know, uh, a lot of events now coming up with Halloween and yes. uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and so on and so forth. Um, we've seen uh, with Culture Kings, which is a brand uh, from Australia and the US, and we've seen that they've got a four figure ROI with Pushaul. Uh, they've got around 3.1% average CTR is what they see. And then they, they see an 8.3% increase in their average order value. So if they're getting $100 from like a normal marketing uh, campaign, they get about $108 uh, through, uh, you know, a campaign on web push. Uh, now let's see at, you know, when ads are too expensive to recover abandoned carts, right? And how, so this is one of the things that uh, you can sort of set up on autopilot. Once you install Push Owl, you can just have this on and it runs in the background. You don't have to do anything, you know, it's just like a money-making automation that's right there for you. Um, and they're basically a series of three notifications that are sent out at uh, a predetermined time from when the person has abandoned their carts. And what really you can do here when you think about, hey, I'm already doing emails and SMS. Now, why am I again doing a web push with this as well? I don't want to spam my customers. What if they get annoyed? So the two things first to note is that, of course, 90% of the people like we saw don't actually subscribe to any other channel of marketing, correct? And the second is, these are warm leads for you, right? So now think about it. Uh, if you're sending an email out at 20 minutes, two hours, one day, you can send a web push out at 30 minutes, four mm -hmm. hours, two days, you know, like complement it with emails uh, or your SMS tactics or strategies, uh, just so that you're sort of hitting them from everywhere that you can. Correct. Not a lot of times people are going to open their emails. Not a lot of times they're going to open their mailbox or, you know, anything like that. Right. So you want to make sure that these people are like buying since they've already shown interest by putting products in the cart and you're like sort of hitting them from an omni channel approach. Yeah. And uh, then the third thing is, you know, when uh, you have sent campaigns or say you don't have time to send campaigns and you have your cart recovery on, but what do you do about the ones who don't leave things mm -hmm. in their cart, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there we have a series of three uh, notifications which are called browse abandonment, which are basically launched when a person is putting some, uh, not putting anything in their carts or making a purchase, just viewing a product, right? So this is more of a retargeting activity. You know, you have like retarget ads going on on Instagram and mm, on Facebook mm, and stuff mm. like that, right? Um, which again is so expensive in today's day. Here you just have these automations going on. Like, hey, you like this product. Why don't you come check out some more products? So it's more of like getting them back to the website to check out more products, uh, give them a customized notification, which is, you know, suiting to what they wanted. And then um, sort of eventually make a sale. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, and then uh, there is just a little bit about segmentation that you should be doing with your emails, SMS, and web push notification. Uh, in terms of like, you know, you have unique segments, you have so many different festivals in the Middle East, in, you know, Australia, yeah. in the US, you know, you don't want to be uh, doing a pan subscriber approach, right? You mm -hmm. want to be hitting people where, uh, you know, th th it's, it's more relevant. So, you know, when it comes to the Middle East, you want to look at like, you know, what are the different, uh, you know, um, locations. Holidays or, yeah. Holidays, yeah. exactly, exactly. So, and then, you know, be doing those campaigns in those ways, right? Um, so, yeah, so you always sort of that do segmentation and uh, with all of your marketing channels, just not with web push. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then just wanted to sort of brush through yes. the industry benchmarks that mm -hmm. people see so when you have uh, the opt-in rate stands around 2.7 percent with a range of 2.3 to 5 percent which means that if you have 100 visitors on your website you will see around three to five of them subscribing to web push notifications um so it's always better the more visitors you have the more subscribers you'll have and then you know eventually more results from it uh, the campaigns, like I said, have around a 3.68% CTR uh, and abandoned cart recovery, which is like our main feature, which, you know, if you don't want to do anything with web push notification, you should just install push out, have your cart recovery notification automation switched on and that's it. And then come back in like one or two months and I'll guarantee that you'll see results from it. Uh, which, I love you know, automation. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, right? Because you don't have to really do, you do not have to put any effort, right? Just switch them on and leave it. And the ones who are subscribing to it get these notifications and then, you know, you can see the magic for yourself. 100%. Um, and with browse abandonment, you see a, a, a CTR of about 5.79%. Uh, so, uh, Sashi, for everyone that's interested, so uh, Push Owl currently only operates on Shopify? Yes. Yes. Uh, Shopify and BigCommerce. Okay. Uh, are you guys planning to go to like WooCommerce or somewhere else? Or are you just, pick, you know, you know we're, we're big Shopify fans, but are you thinking of expanding somewhere else? Yes. So, basically, we are integrated with Send in Blue, which yeah. is the marketing CRM. Um, and Send in Blue works with PAN customers from whichever, um, you know, uh, whichever platform it's platform agnostic so mm -hmm. basically if you wanted uh, like a channel for all kinds of products with your email sms uh, web push everything in one then send in blue would be somewhere where you could see web push out of the uh, shopify and big commerce arena perfect thank you sasha so much for your time and for all the valuable information um, people can learn a little bit more about Push Owl. I'll just leave all of the information in the description box of the video, but it's quite easy to find you and your website. So thank you so much. Anything else you would like to say? No, that's it. Thank you so much, Crystal. And if at any time anyone has any queries mm -hmm. and you're not even sure of like installing Push Owl, you can always go to the pushowl.com page and, you know, chat with our support, uh, you know, the three amazing human beings behind it. So it's not like a bot who's going to be answering your questions or whatever. And they love to talk about football, Netflix and yeah. everything. You can <laughs> even just chat to them about that. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. You'll find a specific code in the description box of this video where you can use Push Owl for two months for free. Um, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to thumbs up this video so that we can continue creating videos just like this one, just for you. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.